Hello everyone and welcome back to OECS 195 Java Programming in MSU Grants. So this video is going to be uh, showing you how to properly submit your homework in order to make sure you get full credit but also to ensure that it takes the least amount of work both on your behalf and that of your instructor. Previously all you did was submit a URL, which is really nice. But we are now at a place where we're going to begin writing more advanced programs, and those advanced programs require more information, more submission, and they're just more complicated for the computer to run. So the URL method will no longer work. So the first thing I want you to do is go to your desktop, go to New, right-click, New, folder and let's create a folder that says OECS 195 or Java 195. Okay, next let's go ahead and open our NetBeans IDE and you should have your Hello World practice in there. And that's great. What we want to do is familiarize ourselves a little bit better with NetBeans in order to make this transition as smooth as possible. So first I'm going to help you modify this particular program. We are then going to export it. We'll show you how to submit it. And then I will show you how to start a new project based out of the te textbook. Well, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is modify this particular project. Okay, so let's do that. Let's come here and we're going to create a couple of variables and uh, they will be a string class, not sting, string and let's make our first one instructor and let's set that to your instructor's name, Ruth. Next, let's create another string and this will be name and we will set that to equal your first name. So don't use mine, use yours. Next, let's just get rid of New Mexico here. And what we want to do is use concatenation and in uh, use the variables in our sentence output. The way we do that is we put a plus sign here and then the variable. So instructor. And what will happen is when it reaches this line, it should say hello, Ruth make sure you pay attention to the space in between here otherwise they will just be smashed up together all right let's go ahead and put another line here so it's system dot out dot print line or ln and put my net beans is working great and now let's go ahead and go down one more line. Again, we're going to do a printout. And let's say submitted by space and then name. So what will happen is it should say, hello, Ruth. My net beans is working great. Submitted by and your name. Let's go ahead and run it. Hello, Ruth. NetBeans is working great. Submitted by Zach. Excellent. All right. We now have completed your first NetBeans assignment, and now you need to submit it. This is where things get a little more complicated. Okay. What I want you to do is go to File, come down to Export, and say to Zip. Now, pay attention here. We want the root project to be Hello World. Right? And we want to build the zip. Notice it puts you in a crazy location. We don't want to go there. So what we're going to do is browse. Let's go to our desktop and find the Java folder that we just created. I want you to keep all of your homework in that folder to make your life easier. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give it a file name. And the way you're going to do this is you're going to say chapter, in this case 13, dash, 
the project or the assignment number, um, if it's, you know, build a wall, then you would say build a wall. In this case, we're just going to say hello world dash and your last name. Now, most important, make sure you do dot Z I P. Because of this all files here, if you don't, it'll just create a nameless file that will not work. You will not get credit, your instructor will not be able to review your work, and it's just a hassle for everyone. So, chapter that you're working on, the project name can be this one right here, your last name dot Z I P. From there, go ahead and say save. Now notice it's going somewhere that we can find our homework. And now export. And depending on which uh, zipping software you use, you'll see a different icon pop up. But if we go into here, we see chapter 13, Hello World Smith. It's very easy for you to keep track of your assignments and very easy for your instructor. Now, of course, if we open it up, there's the Hello World. Right, there's the source, there's the Java, we can look at it. That's the Java we just created. Now, you can go ahead and open your canvas. Let me go grab mine, hold on one second. And as you can see, I'm logged into Canvas. Now I'm using Student View, which should uh, look nearly identical to yours. And we're gonna go ahead and go down to Modules all the way down here to installing NetBeans and uh, the JDK. So you have a file, uh, the page that looks like this, and what we want to do is install, excuse me, what we want to do is submit the assignment proving the installation we just completed, that we have installed NetBeans properly. So we'll click on Submit, and here we will go to Choose File, to our desktop where we have the OACS. We will connect that and submit. Now it may take it a minute because it's kind of a large file. Voila, you're done. Now one really good habit is to always click away and then go back to it and make sure that it says submission details and make sure it has this zip at the end. Congratulations, you have completed your first NetBeans IDE Java program submission. Now, you're gonna get 100 points on that, pending you did everything that we did in the video. You are good to go. Now, let's look at how we start a new project. And for that, I'm gonna minimize this and open here again. And what I want to do is go ahead and close this project. Now, if we look at our textbook in hour 13, building a simple user interface, and we go to page uh, 193, we're going to work through that real quick. Okay. And so, what we're going to do is we want to come here or to file and we want to create a new project we want that to be a Java project so we hit next we're going to name it and this time we're going to call it Salutong frame okay and look at where it's storing everything project location we want to change this we want to go to browse to our desktop to our Java file, and now we will create that new project. There it is. Look at all that stuff that just happened. Beautiful, right? Now, we no longer need this. Obviously, that's from our old program, but we're looking at our new one, and we have all of this header information. We don't need that. Go ahead and delete that. And 
This package information is related to this package right here. So we have our project, our source file, our package, and then our Java file. That's why you have to zip the whole thing up in order for your instructor to be able to import it and make sure that it's working properly. Now, we will leave this here, but let's get rid of the extra space. We don't need that extra space in there. And we can go ahead and delete that. We don't need that for the time being, nor do we need that. Now, if we run it, Build is successful, but nothing happened. Well, of course not. We didn't have anything in here that's going to work. But let's go ahead and get started with this. So if you look at the textbook, there's package.com.java. Here's our package name. That will be unique to each one of you. And underneath that, and below this, let's go ahead and move this up here as well. Let's go ahead and do an import. And we're looking to import Java X dot swing and dot oops, dot star that means import everything now we're getting this little icon notice here and it says well wait a minute this is not used well of course not we haven't used anything we're just getting started so if we look at the line five and it says public class saluton frame extends JFrame. So we need to type extends JFrame. Pay attention to the capitalization. J and F are both capitalized. And underneath it, now it looks a little different. If you flip over the page and you go all the way to line 24, you will actually see your public static right here down at the bottom. It's standard programming, a Java programming convention, to have your main class at the very bottom of the page. And if you notice here on line 25, we're actually invoking and creating a new class, the uh, of Saluton Frame, which is uh, starts right there on line six. So we're just going to follow it as the textbook shows it. So let's go ahead and go over here and say public saluton frame. Now notice this has to be the same as this. Okay. Sometimes this screws up students because it doesn't seem like it makes any sense. But remember this is this and when we get down into our main class and we instantiate our new class here, we fire it up if you will it will also be identical to that. All right, so let's go ahead and say super. And let's see, they call it Saluton Mundo. Okay, great, don't forget your semicolon. Underneath that, now we're beginning to set how it's going to look. Remember, we're creating a graphical user interface. Now we're making programs that look like programs rather than just something we type in the command line. All right, and so we say set, look, and feel. Pay attention to the capitalization. And notice we get this alert, and it says cannot find symbol, right? And we will deal with that in a little while, but the set, look, and feel is another class that we're going to create. All right. Let's go ahead and say set size, and we're going to set that equal. To, oops, we're going to set that equal to 350 and 100. Semicolon. The next one is set default, and make sure you spell it right. Close operation, and I didn't spell it right after telling you to. All right, and we're going to do JFrame dot exit. And notice it pops up here trying to help you on close. And then let's go ahead and terminate this with the semicolon. Now, uh, we're going to walk through what each of these do here in a minute. So let's just continue to finish out. Lastly, set visible. And we're going to make that true. Okay, so far so good. 
Notice uh, line 12 is our closing curly brace. And one of the nice things about net beans is that notice when I click on one, it shows me the other. See if I click here, oh, okay. It allows you to match up pairs very easily. It'll do the same thing with curly brackets and um, parentheses. So it is a real nice deal. All right, so let's go ahead and go next. And the next thing we're gonna do is a private void and it's set look and feel just like what we had up there parentheses and then curly braces now notice that alert just went away because now we have a set look and feel class that matches that set size set default these are all part of the JFrame um, but this one is one we're making up of our own now, this is a kind of pain to type out. Okay, so we're going to say try curly brace UI manager dot set look and feel parenthesis. Oops, we want this little space parenthesis and it's com dot sun dot java dot swing dot p l a p l a f dot nimbus dot nimbus look and feel all right let's go ahead and close that with the terminator now if we look there is the closing now we come down here and we say else Oh, nope, sorry. We say catch. And now we're going to do our parentheses. Exception EXC. And now we're going to put in our ignore or error or whatever's happening at that point. We'll just follow what he says here. Ignore error. All right. So all of our ugliness has kind of disappeared except we're getting this one alert here, can be replaced with a multi-catch and or several catch clauses catching specific exceptions. Okay. Now, um, currently at this point, he's not having us catch anything, so we're gonna move on. Now we're gonna go into our main class and here you're gonna type capital, uh, capital cell U ton frame, right? Notice that matches here and here. Now this part we can call whatever we want. Traditionally it's called frame, but we're gonna work through this in a minute and you can see that there are other options, okay? Equals new. And now we're going to have this right here, typed again, that's going to reference this one. Frame, so this time we have the parentheses. Okay, great, oops. Let's go ahead and move this over so it looks pretty. And now here it says variable frame is not used. We haven't used it yet, right? And so that's why it's freaking out. But it's no big deal at this point because all we want to do is create. So let's go ahead and run it. And because I have two monitors, it's gonna pop up on my other monitor, so I'll drag it over here. But lo and behold, there it is. Now, how do we know that this is correct? And let's talk about what it does. Okay, so the first thing is we created our public class here and we have created, instantiated this public class here. And this saluton frame re uh, refers to here. And this is just the basics about the screen that we've opened okay so the first thing it says is super and that means kind of this and we have named it notice the name right here now if we want to and we're going to do that in a minute in order for you to submit this assignment um, you can uh, make changes actually this some this you do not have to submit 
but you will do it in the future. Okay, so this one is a practice to show you how everything will work. Now you will have other assignments attached and you will do that by submitting multiple, um, let's just look at that real quick. So where uh, we went through here and we just did one, actually you would do an add file, add file for all of this, the submissions that you have to turn in for this assignment. Okay. So even though in the video I showed just one, there will actually be multiples. Okay. Uh, set size, so what do you think that does? Well, that sets the size and we're gonna change that in a minute. Now this set default operation uh, set default close operation exit on close what that means is if you hit the red X it actually closes the program otherwise it's still floating around you just don't see it and finally we have this set visible to true we want to see it it make, means make it visible all right now this is a um, a set look and feel class and it uses the UI manager right here and you can find this on the Java website but that is what gives it the particular look that we're using first let's change the name a little bit let's say and then let's go ahead and repeat hello world in the same style so our that will be our new title Let's change this to 450 by 200. And let's go ahead and run it. Now when that pops up, ooh, I put 1200 on accident. So it's 450 wide and goes on for a long ways. Let's just fix that real quick and run it. And now let's close that. Notice it closes. Let's run it again and accidentally closed it on accident there it is and there it is and there's our hello world so as you can see we are now building applications that you can be proud of and that look like the applications that you're used to okay so again let's look at how you will save this so let's close that when you're done you will go to file export to zip you're going to change this bottom line right here. You're going to go find your Java file. And notice our project file is listed right here. But what we want is to ensure that it's correct for our assignment. So we say chapter 13 dash salutone frame dash your last name dot zip do not forget the zip we'll save it now it's correct let's export it notice it pops up automatically to let me know but when we come in here now we have chapter 13 the salutone frame and i misspelled it <laughs> and hello world right here let's just correct that we don't want to submit it improperly there we go and here is our original project. See, if we click on that, that's the original project. But here is the zipped file that you will submit to your instructor. Now you'll go back to your here. And this time you would say, um, and of course, turn in all your homework at one time, not in separate times. But choose your first file, hello world. Choose your second file, so you tone. And after you're sure you have all of the proper assignments, go ahead and submit. Voila! All of your assignments are turned in, pending of course. For this chapter, this will be, or for this installation of NetBeans, these will be the only two that you have to turn in. I believe. Um, if it's only the Hello World, you're good to go. Just read the instructions right down here. Uh, to ensure that you get full credit. If there are any questions, of course, always reach out to your instructor immediately. Do not hesitate. And uh, if there's any further issues, let your instructor know. Otherwise, happy coding, and we'll talk to you again soon.